Well, this is a face of a perverted sex offender, child sex offender, 54 years old. His name is Jeffrey Herschel. He's from Pennsylvania. He paid money to a pimp in the Philippines to have young girls, under the age of 10, by the way, raped and perform vulgar sex acts. And he watched it all live from his computer at home. It's called Pay-Per-View Child Sex Shows. And as a parent, you've got to know more about this. You're going to hear more about this convicted pedophile in just a moment. But first, the outrageous fact that right now he's a bit of a free man. And it's got his next-door neighbor pretty freaked out. I couldn't believe that that was going on right next door. I, I just I couldn't believe it. I won't even let my granddaughters out in the yard because... I've seen him around, yeah. and I hope they lock him up forever. Yeah. But I, but it doesn't look that way because they, they, they get a couple years, and it's to me they ruin somebody's life. On the phone, David Hickton. He's with the U.S. Attorney's Office in Pennsylvania. And David, in all uh, fairness. Uh, incredible job nabbing this guy. And we're going to talk about how you did that in just a second. He was sentenced yesterday to 12 years in prison. But a lot of people, including the neighbors who have grandkids who are out playing, children that are out playing, wondering why this man is not behind bars right now. Well, he's, that's, that decision is in the sound discretion of the judge. And he is on a monitor. He has been on a, on a monitor since he, uh, since he pled guilty in January. He's being followed and monitored. And I think the public can rest uh, at, at ease based upon the facts that I understand here. Uh, he has some health issues. He's uh, basically housebound anyway, and he will be, uh, as a registered sex offender, uh, under the supervision of the authorities. He will be reporting to prison in August. Hey, David, are there any other conditions in place, though, to try and, and safeguard the community? So I'm thinking about things like no Internet service being available or yeah. anything else so that people can get a good night's sleep and not worry that their kids are, are Especially in the neighborhood. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Go ahead, David. Yes, I think that uh, he's being fully monitored pending his uh, reporting to prison. Uh, the same conditions that have existed since January are in place. There have been no incidents since that time. And uh, between the monitoring and the uh, ankle uh, monitoring, I, I'm, I'm satisfied that, uh, that this judge made the correct decision here. Okay, but this is, this is the thing that I think is most stomach-turning, is he was not just watching child porn. He was, he was participating. He's he was director. directing it. Mm -hmm. He would put in, he'd, he'd click a button, pay between 20 and 30 bucks and then tell a guy on the other end of that screen what to do, what to do with mm. these three girls. And it's and think, stomach and turning what he did. So my question is, how does a guy like that only get 12 years? Well, mm. uh, first of all, that's a very substantial sentence. And I think that the real story of this case is this reflects the U.S. government's enduring interest in deterring American citizens like Mr. Herschel from sexually exploiting children overseas, and in this case, in the Philippines. I mean, the story here is a terrible story. As you reported, uh, he enticed a 12-year-old girl in the Philippines who was from an impoverished area who needed money for food to perform these outrageous sex acts and film them. And this case was uh, the product of great investigation uh, by the HSI, uh, HSI agents here in Pittsburgh who went actually, they actually went over to the Philippines and they made a direct search and found this victim. Uh, Mr. Herschel uh, has a prior history of expressing a pre preference for young children. And in fact, in 1999, in state court, uh, he pled guilty to uh, child exploitation crimes. At that time, he received 23 months probation. So there could be this victims center, here in the States. Yes. There could be victims here in the States. Well, I mean, he, that's a previous incident in 1999. But his, his, the charges that we levied against him that go to conduct in February 2010, and we filed charges in 2011 and supplemented them, have resulted in a guilty plea and a very substantial sentence. And when he reports to prison uh, in August, he will go away for 12 years, and then he will sub be subjected to, upon the release, lifetime supervision. And stay, David, stay with me, please, because uh, CNN Freedom Project executive editor Leif Corlum is the one that went into that neighborhood, talked to um, those, those neighbors, also went overseas to talk to those young girls. These mm -hmm. are pictures mm -hmm. that he took. We're going to hear how they're doing, what they told Leif, right after a quick break. Yeah, I was in, uh, I was in Manila and met those girls.
you know, unless you could take it back or say something, say no you're sorry. All right, just want to make it clear, in the brown plaid was 54-year-old Jeffrey Herschel, that disgusting pedophile that's finally going to spend years in prison for what he did to little girls over in the Philippines. CNN Freedom Project executive editor Leif Corlum is the one that chased him down. Uh, Pay-per-view child porn. Leif, uh, he had no comment. He didn't even seem to show any emotion to you. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it was uh, somewhat disconcerting after all the time that we've spent uh, following this case, you know, to actually see him. Uh, in the flesh and be able to speak to him and uh, for him to, to offer no sort of sympathy or um, uh, repercussions for what he had, he had done. It was really, um, you know, somewhat disheartening, but yet somehow I wasn't surprised. So these pictures you took of these little girls in the Philippines, all under, they're 12 now, but they were all under uh, 10 when they were raped yeah, nine, yeah. and exploited, right? Mm -hmm. Tell us how they're doing. What did they say to you? Ugh. Well, yeah, I mean, that was, the, that was the thing that really caught me off guard was uh, before we had done the interview, they were, they were smiling, they were laughing, uh, they, were, they were playing um, jump rope with the, with the other girls. I had no inkling of the kind of abuse that they had suffered. And when the interview started, uh, we had uh, Cecilia Flores Obanda, who's the director of the Messiah Forum, which is in, uh, they're in the custody of, of that nonprofit organization now. Um, when they started doing the interview and she started talking to the girls in their native tongue in uh, Tagalog, uh, I saw how uh, emotional uh, Cecilia was becoming. And What did they um, say, I, Leif? I, I, what did these little well, girls were, say? Uh, well, they, they described an American man who um, was, was a rather large man who had a tattoo on his arm, and he made them um, perform sexual acts with men on the street. Uh, oh. pulled off from the street. He made them um, do all kinds of uh, poses naked. Uh, there were, um, I, I don't want to get too graphic, but uh, there was animals involved. There was oh. urine involved. Uh, just the most sickening things that you can, you can imagine, the most depraved things that you could have another human being, and a child no less. I uh, do. That's that's what he made these girls do. Well, I hope using you guys a, in using prison. a PayPal account. Um, Twenty seven dollars on a PayPal account. Twenty seven dollars. And here's twenty seven dollars. Yeah, it's crazy. But these little girls, this is what's incredible. These little girls led to this guy. The right, right, Leaf. Right. They helped yeah. catch him, right, yeah. Leaf? Yeah, I do. I do want to say that the uh, Homeland Security investigative agents. Uh, that Mr. Hickson mentioned earlier, uh, they did a phenomenal job. They also went to the same places that I did. They're the ones who caught th this guy. Um, and I can't go into the, the specifics of, of what they did to catch this guy, but sure. um, it's, it's really, really impressive, and they deserve all the credit in the and world tomorrow, for what they did. Christy, tomorrow we're talking to those three girls. We're going to see their reaction to him being sentenced.